Hey, this is Travis. I'm back with a, sadly, the last daily video for a while. <laughs> I was about to say, I have some sad news. Well, that's my sad news. I'll explain here in a second. But first, quick update on the market. And I think personally, we're in the middle of a correction. So uh, first, oh, actually, before I get to that, I have an admin note here. Uh, side tangent, uh, this guy and these uh, Dr. Squatch soap commercials, the best ads I've ever seen. Like They're like one of the only ads I watch because they're just so funny. And I'm like, am I the only one seeing these ads all the time? Because I'm like, do I, do I smell of something? They're trying to tell me something, but anyway. I just had to ask that, do you get these ads too or is it just me? So anyway, I want to come here in the comments because yesterday I, I have a crude sense of humor. Uh, humor. I take some uh, getting used to. Uh, my wife can uh, uh, vouch for that. But I made a comment about, hey, the free YouTube videos are like the leftovers for the Success Academy. You know, they get our, our uh, dumps. It's like dumpster diving. I have a crude sense of humor, sometimes a few offensive sense of humor. I mean, well, it was just a joke. Uh, but I'm glad a couple of people could see that. Oh, at least I hope they knew it was a joke. But the comment of the day has got to be from uh, one rocks tube. Just here dumpster diving. One man's trash is another man's treasure. Repurposing nuggets of trash into profits. Um, that has got to be the best response to something that is potentially offensive. So thank you so much for being a good sport about it. I really appreciate comments like that because, yeah, I was just – making a joke and I didn't mean any harm by it. So if it offended anybody, I do apologize. But let me now get to the market here. So yesterday I said uh, the market correction may be over based on this method that I learned from William J. O'Neill. And I was like, gosh, I was like, leave it to the market to make me look like an idiot. I was like, because it almost uh, invalidated the day after I recorded the video. But the market closed higher than this little imaginary draw line, uh, line I drew here, which meant that method is still valid. So I'm still waiting for confirmation that the market uh, correction is over. Uh, if you are a member of Market Club, which I highly advise you to be a member, just use the trade triangles. Uh, you know, the weekly would be your first um, kind of signal that maybe the market is bottoming out. But again, per our rules, if you want to be prudent, uh, follow, uh, wait for the monthly green, or use what we're now calling the power stock strategy. And that can get you into a few stocks that are leading the way in the recovery. Because once the market bottoms out, you may have to wait a while for the S&P to bottom out, but you can find a stock that's leading the way and then use the power stock strategy to trade in it early. So you make your profits early while you're waiting for the full blueprint to be satisfied. So that's my market recap. Uh, next update is my portfolio for Success Academy members. I just recorded a video today. It will be released on Monday in the 10 Minute Income Trader case study in that members area. And for those who are not a member in Success Academy, that's the uh, recreation of my five year retirement plan. So I'm letting people, this is version 3.0 really. So version 1.0 is what my wife and I achieve financial freedom uh, in five years, start to finish from the, when we commit it. Right. If anybody know my story, I failed in real estate and <laughs> went bankrupt and all this other stuff pr previous to that. So if you count the total fails and recommitting and all that, it's longer than five years. But for the moment, I was like, all right, I'm tired of failing. I'm ready to commit. I'm ready to follow what my mentors taught me. It took we took about a five figure account and then five years to achieve uh, financial freedom. So then I walked success academies. Success Academy members through it from about 2011 to 2015, 16, but it wasn't like, oh, here's what I'm doing. I was just letting them, you know, peek over my shoulder as I was growing this account. And then it dawned to me, I was like, hey, people may find value in this. And so in 2017, May of 2017, I started fresh with a fresh 10 grand of real money. And as B pre market correction of February 2020, that 10 grand account had grown to, I can't even remember now, I think 69,000 or something like that in two and a half years. I can't recall because I don't have my Excel pulled up. But I've recorded the whole journey. Uh, it's, uh, you know, most of the uh, episodes are in the Success Academy so they can look back on the journey to see, you know, how I grew that account. And it's all conservative. I don't, I don't do the whole uh, high risk thing. Anyway, all of that is to say that I made some moves in my portfolio today. I, my insurance, got close enough to the 100% uh, mark and I couldn't take it anymore. I went ahead and booked my insurance profit. So it was like, you know, for those I've been showing you the insurance, uh, you know, it was up eight grand one day, but 
in total as of today because the market moved i think i booked 20 or 30 grand in profit just on my stock insurance the put options so i went out and sold that but i got back in and I bought more puts with my profit. So I almost have risk-free insurance now. So I went in and took that profit and I made some other moves and I'll explain that in the video. Basically, I just had to readjust my account a little bit to free up more cash. Yeah, I took like a couple of trades I took a loss on, but my intention is to recoup that loss once the market recovers, which I think it will, but even if it doesn't recover, now I have enough insurance to off, if the market keeps going down, my insurance will profit more so now i leave you with my unfortunate news that and this is not a joke i'm not joking this will be the last uh, uh daily video i will have for a while um it, it, these daily videos had a how can i put it uh, uh a side effect i didn't anticipate uh it's caused a lot of confusion with members of the program uh, they will see something in this free video and then ask about it in our members area. Uh, and, and unfortunately, I, I just saw one of the comments, one member even thought I called him personally out, and I was like, no, definitely not. But even if something I did made somebody feel like I called him out, that is not cool with me. And I take full ownership of that and responsibility for that. And so if my videos, and as much as I love providing free value, free value to the community, like I, like I say, one of my value uh, systems is to add value to people's life without them having to pay me a dime. If anybody questions that, like seriously, I have a $3,000 free course on my website and hundreds of YouTube videos. Go through them all. And if you still doubt that that's a value system, then I have more work to do. But still, with these daily videos, they've caused uh, some stress. Uh, they've caused members to be confused. It's just had some unintended consequences. And I'm like, mm, I need to meditate more so that if I record a free YouTube video, it doesn't confuse my members, right? That's the last thing I want for people in the program. Um, also, it doesn't offend anybody, right? <laughs> and so uh, I need to meditate more on how I can record these videos in such a way that they are massive value to anybody who watches it, whether they're a member or not, right? Uh, never should anybody walk away confused or offended or anything like, well, people can choose to be offended because I'm blunt. So I'm going to offend people along the way, but it's never my intention, right? So basically, I just need to spend some time meditating on how I can better structure these videos to have a better outcome for everybody watching, both members and non-members alike. I know one, at least one person be like, I've been having a decent experience and, and I think, trust me, I am completely honored. I got teary-eyed before I even started recording this because I was like, I'm a guy who grew up using the bathroom in a five gallon paint bucket. I was told I'd never be anything most of my life. You have no idea how much I was put down. And so to know that people watch me and value what I want to say and they watch everything I put out, trust me, I am completely honored. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart. But as a, a trainer and an instructor, I also have goals. And my goals are to try to meet a middle road. You're never going to satisfy everybody. That's that's an illusion. I'm not trying to satisfy everybody, but I have goals where at least I want to get middle of the road so that the majority of people who watch these videos gain value out of it, whether they're a member or not. And so I will be back. You have my word on that. And then hopefully the new format will be a lot better for everyone involved, including the guy who records them every day. <laughs> so you all take care, be encouraged. Uh, as of now, members, you, you, you see my portfolio, non-members, I am currently being transparent. As of today, it shows my portfolio is down $20,000, real money portfolio. How many of these internet gurus will show you that? And so my goal is by the end of the year to have this account positive, regardless of what the market does. And when it does, you will see that in my yearly recaps where I do my income reports letting you know how I did for the year and of course if you don't want to wait for that I mean come on join the success academy what are you waiting for all right you all take care see you in the next video whenever that is released bye-bye